Hi everybody, my name's Liz and I'm the baker that sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're a subscriber. It's really lovely to have you here. So today's video is going to be a fabric haul and a pattern haul. So I've got a few lovely bits of fabric that I've been buying and I've got a couple of patterns that I've been buying too. Because I asked a few weeks ago on Instagram for suggestions for patterns to use um, viscose or dra drapey fabrics. And lots of people got in touch with different pattern suggestions, so I've been buying some patterns too, so I thought it'd be interesting to share with you. And um, before I start, I'll tell you what I'm wearing. Um, and this is something that I made in May, which I haven't put my May Makes video up yet because there's a few outfits that I need to get photos of and then I can insert them into the video. But this is a pair of the Heyday dungarees by Made by Jack's Mum. And it's in this really lovely canvas fabric, um, which I bought from Sister Mintaka when they had their two, ber two year birthday. And then I'm wearing my Tabitha t-shirt made in this really cool jersey from like so amazing and the cool thing about this is when you go out into the sunshine you get little rainbows and the clouds light, light, um, get colour and you get rain on there and lightning and it's really cool. I wore it to work um, the other day and the children thought it was magic which was lovely. Um, so I'll just stand up so you can see. So yeah we've got the bib pocket here, it, it has the tie fastening with the loop and we've got two pockets here and then another two pockets on the back. You don't have to put all the pockets on, it's entirely up to you when you make the heyday dungarees, but I think the more pockets the better, especially when I'm working in the early years or I've got, you know, I've got my two girls at home and they're forever giving me things to put in my pockets. So, I filmed this video um, a few days ago and then I published it last night on my channel and then re-looked at it myself and thought, I'm not happy with the quality of it. Um, the lighting was really bad because I filmed it in the evening when, I'd, when the kids had gone to bed and it was quite dark. It was a really grey day in London anyway and I had such a headache and I was feeling so tired after the start um, of the new sort of term and the children coming back to school and things. So I deleted it and I thought I'm going to film it again because I also didn't have everything to hand and because I was feeling so tired my brain just turned to mush. So I thought I'll re-film re and hopefully this video will be a bit fresher. So I have got lots of bits of fabric and I've been buying to, from lots of different fabric shops um, and I've been thinking dresses, jumpsuits, um, comfortable but also quite bright although I have got a few plain things and I've also got a few bits of fabric that I'm not going to use for myself but I'm going to save things for my girls. So let's get started with the first piece of fabric which has literally just arrived. The postman knocked on the door like 20 minutes before I was going to film this video so I could include it. And this is a piece of um, cotton gauze, I think it's called, um, and it is from Cloth and Candy. So the lovely fuzz sent this to me. So their little card came through. I haven't ordered from Cloth and Candy before. I love their fabrics. They've got beautiful, really fun, bright prints, but I haven't ordered from them before. But this fabric really caught my eye and I managed to get the last meter of it. So I hold it up. It's almost like a sort of a cream background, but what I really love about it is there's fluorescent pops of colour. So it's all um, sort of leaves and flowers, but I love these fluorescent pops of green and there's like pops of orange which aren't showing up as well. Um, so I've got, did I get, yeah I did get a metre, I'm just checking. I've got a metre and I'm thinking of turning that into a top. So I might use the um, I Am Joy pattern because I think that would make a nice light breezy top. And it's really lovely, so I'm going to stick that in the wash so I can get that sewn up soon. But it's really beautiful and really pretty, and it arrived really quickly actually. So thank you Fuzz for that. Um, the next fabric I've got is from Sister Mintaka, the lovely, excuse me, the lovely Sandy. And it's this gorgeous uh, tiger fly it's called. I love the um, salvage, I've just noticed it. Ruby Star Society. But it says, she is fierce and ever-changing. I just absolutely love that. Um, so yeah, I got the yellow colourway. Isn't it beautiful? I just love it. And the tigers, they remind me of the tiger who came to tea. You know the story, the tiger who came to tea? They really remind me of that. It's one of my favourite stories that I read. My daughter is tiger, uh, just tiger obsessed. She absolutely loves tigers, my youngest daughter. So she picked this fabric out. Uh, and I'm going to turn it into a jumpsuit for her. And I've got the jumpsuit here. And it's the Ikati Brooklyn Kids jumpsuit. And she would like the version that's got the ruffle collar. 
and then the waist channel and the big deep pockets as well. Uh, I'm not sure if she wants that sleeve, I might cap the sleeve. Um, she tends to get quite hot but I'm really looking forward to making that and actually I found um, I found some more of this online the village haberdashery have got the pink colorway so I have ordered some for myself and I thought we could match so I'm gonna do pink for me and yellow for her but it's just such a beautiful fabric um, and it is a rayon um, so it's really lovely and soft it's got lovely drape it's really beautiful and I think that'll be lovely for her jumpsuit so I can't wait to make that. And then I'll show you later, Ruby's picked a different fabric for her, my eldest daughter. So she's gonna have the same, oh, that's not the jumpsuit. She's gonna have the same jumpsuit um, in a different fabric. So I'll show you that a bit later. So that one's from Sister Mintaka. Then I shopped with another um, shop that I haven't um, bought fabric from before. And it's the Flip Flop, oh, here's the label, sorry. The Flip Flop Fabric Shop, I love saying that, it's fun. Um, and this is from Louise and as soon as I saw this I've been after some cotton that's I, I mean I love colour and I love rainbows but I've been after some cotton that's got rainbow stripes um, and she shared a picture of this so it's just a cotton but I love the colours all the colours of the rainbow it's really fun and they're a bit wiggly the lines some of them are a little bit wiggly it's like they've been drawn on with felt tip or painted on and I got I think I've got about three metres of this and I'm going to turn it into a deer and doe mysotis and have a bit of fun playing around with the stripes. I think that'll be look, look really nice. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed shopping with them. They've got some really beautiful fabric on their website. So I'll definitely shop there again soon. So thank you to Louise for that fabric. It's beautiful. Then I got something from a shop called Oh So Shop. And I'm obsessed with this colour. I'm obsessed with green. I absolutely love green. Um, and this is a viscose. It's got such a beautiful amount of drape and it's so soft. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, the way that it moves. And this is going to become a maxi. So I don't know whether I'm going to make the Experimental Space Rosalie dress or the Indigo, Tilly and the Buttons Indigo um, as a maxi with the add-on long skirt and then the ruffle around the bottom with, I think, short sleeves. Um, but this fabric is just so beautiful. I love the colours in the floral. It's like purple, red, and then that green background is just really, really pretty. I absolutely love it. As soon as I saw it, I had to have some. And like I said, it's so soft. And the way that it moves, it's just beautiful. So I can't wait to get that sewn up. That's going to make a really nice summer maxi dress. So thank you for that, Oh So Shop. I've got my notebook here because I don't want to forget any of the names of the fabric and the details. So sorry if I keep looking down. Then the next shop I bought from is one of my favourite shops, Material Galora, and I'm going to show you the first one, which is this animal print. It's beautiful. Again, it's got really lovely drape to it. It's really pretty. I got the blue colourway. Just love it. It's really pretty. I think I got a metre and a half of it, and it's a viscose. Um, and Tamlin from Sewn on the Tine, she when Laura shared the pictures of all of these viscoses, she had four colourways and Tamlin from Sewn on the Tine, she managed to get all four. I was really gutted because she had a beautiful green one and green's my favourite colour. Um, I do keep stalking her website to see if she's got a remnant just in case and then I might be able to grab it um, because I originally wanted the green but I like the blue equally as much. It is really beautiful. But anyway, Tamlin from Sewn on the Tine, which she keeps saying, she got all four colours and she's going to turn it into a colour blocked dress which I, I think will look absolutely stunning. Um, I can't wait to see that. It's really beautiful. Um, so yeah, this is going to be turned into some kind of dress. I'm not quite sure which one yet though, but it's really lovely. And then I got some chambray, which is in this really lovely blue colour. So I've got a good couple of metres of this. And I don't know whether to turn this into a jumpsuit, so the Alexa jumpsuit by Tilly and the Buttons, or whether to turn it into a maxi dress. But it's lovely. I just love the colour of it. It's really pretty. It's really soft. Um, and I think that'll be a really nice breathable fabric to wear when the summer's warm. So again, I got about three metres of that because I wasn't quite sure what to make with it and I thought even if I only use a couple of metres on a dress I'll definitely use the rest of it on a top or some trousers or a skirt or something. So that's from um, Material Girl Laura and it's a chambray. It's really lovely. I really love that colourway. Then this is what Ruby chose and this is from Lamazi Fabrics. So she chose um, Dashand 
I hope I'm saying that correctly, viscose in a lilac colourway. And she would like a jumpsuit making out of this. And I think it would make a really cute children's jumpsuit, actually. So I'll just hold it up, sorry, uh, so that you can see. Look at the little dash on there. They're super cute. It's like they've got a little red... Is it an ear? I think it's a red ear that they've got. And then there's these little polka dots dotted around as well, which is really cute. And that is a viscose um, from Lamazi Fabrics. And I'm going to use that to make the Brooklyn, Ikati Brooklyn jumpsuit for Ruby. And Ruby wants the collar version here with the tieways channel and the pockets as well. So I think that would look really cute as a jumpsuit for her as well. It's just lovely. I love the little dogs on there. She wants a dog. We live in a flat. There's no way we're getting a dog. Even when we move house, when we eventually move house, we won't be getting a dog. Um, my husband and I are both teachers. We just don't have the time. It wouldn't be fair on a dog. I've said a cat, perhaps. We might get a cat, but I don't think it would be fair to get a dog because we just don't have the time to walk it and give it the attention that she needs, that it, she, <laughs> that it needs. Because uh, we're out of the house for most of the day when we're both at work. Um, so she can live her dog dreams through a jumpsuit with dog fabric instead. And then I've got another viscose from Lamazi, and this is for me this time. And I think I'm going to use this to make a skirt of some sort. And actually, the inner haystack pack, the pattern for this month is a skirt, wrap skirt, or a wrap dress, or a wrap top. Actually, you get lots of variations with the pattern that's come this month. Um, so I might use this to make that skirt, because I think this beautiful, again, viscose. I'm going to stand up so you can see how it moves. Uh, it's got really lovely colours in again. It's got the green that I'm obsessed with. Orange, pinks, purples and lilacs. And lilac isn't a colour that I would normally choose, but I've picked... Well, I've picked two for me and one for Ruby. Um, lilac. But I think as a skirt, I think it might work for me. So that's going to become some kind of skirt. Um, and they're really beautiful quality fabrics from Lamazi as well. And I just love the drape. I do love viscose. I think if I was going to pick a fabric that I love, I think viscose would be the fabric that I pick um, as my um, sort of favourite type of fabric. It's just, it's just beautiful. It's soft. The way that it drapes, I just absolutely love it. So they were from Lamazi. And then I've got a couple of fabrics from Like So Amazing. Uh, and the first one, it's Tigers again. I do teach tiger class. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that I'm equally as obsessed with tigers. And this is a black um, rayon from Like So Amazing. And it's um, got tigers on, if you can see. Black doesn't show up very well on the camera. Um, let me see if I can get a bit closer. Just so you can see, the tigers are gold. And they're in different poses, different positions. Um, yeah, and again, it's got a really lovely movement to it it's got a really lovely drape and that's going to become a jumpsuit I think so I think I'm going to use the Alexa jumpsuit um, from Tilly and the Buttons because I do love that pattern it fits me really nicely um, it's easy to move around in I wore my Alexa jumpsuit to work this week and it was perfect for moving around scrabbling around on the floor with the children and also being outside um, but yeah I just love that fabric and black's not a fabric that I would choose normally but I think it's the tigers that I fell in love with I absolutely love the tigers so that's going to become a jumpsuit and then the next one I've got is a linen viscose um, it's got a really lovely weight to it really weighty because it's got viscose in it it does still have quite a nice drape to it and I'm not sure what to make with this, although I've just got the Jennifer Lauren new, the new collot pattern. So I think these might work really, this fabric might work really nicely as a pair of collots. It's got a nice weight to it, so it might work really nicely as collots or a skirt, I'm not quite sure. Or maybe some dungarees again, because I absolutely love this pattern. I've made three versions of the Heyday dungarees, so, you know, this could be dungarees. I just fell in love with the pattern got these leaves on again I seem to have a running theme floral or leaves and I like the navy background and the fabric again just feels really lovely and I think it'd be a nice fabric to wear in the summer so they were both from like so amazing so thank you Sarah for those and then sew me sunshine so I've bought a couple of bits from sew me sunshine so I've got two to show you from the lovely Harriet and the first one is a gingham just hold it up to show you. It's a lilac gingham. So again, I wasn't sure whether lilac would be my colour, but I'm obsessed with gingham as well at the moment. I keep saying obsessed. 
I absolutely adore gingham fabric. I just made a myosotis in a blue gingham, uh, which I wore to work on Monday because it's quite warm. And then I've got this lilac gingham. So it's just a cotton, and I'm going to turn this into a deer and doe myosotis with pockets. And Marie from Stitch Odyssey, I just want to check I'm saying her Instagram handle correctly, yeah, Stitch Odyssey. She shared an Instagram TV sort of tutorial on how to hack the myosotis so that it doesn't have the collar, but instead it's got, um, you draft a facing. I might pause the video and show you the version that I did. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, I made the myosotis in this lovely blue uh, gingham with the buttons down the front. And then Marie shared a hack for omitting the collar so normally you would have like a mandarin collar on here for the myosotis but instead what you do is you um sort of do a facing so that it has the facing let me see if i can open it, it has the facing going along the button placket to give you strength for your buttons but then you would attach the collar sort of here to here but instead she showed a hack on how to do the facing instead of the collar and I really like the way that it looks on the dress. So I really like that. Um, so I'm going to replicate that dress exactly the same. I'll extend the bodice, put the waist ties around the middle, um, and I'm going to make it in lilac gingham. And again, I think that'll be a great dress for the summer for when it's warm. Hopefully we'll get a nice summer. And then I ordered this lovely yellow, I'm just looking down to check the name, yellow viscose, I don't have the name written down actually, and I know that Harriet sold out of this because I got the last bit, because um, when she first put it on Instagram that she had this fabric, did she put it on Instagram or did I just look on the website, I can't remember, but anyway, when I first saw this, such a beautiful colour, just love it, I really wanted some, and then um, I must have been busy doing something because I didn't get it and then I went back onto the website and it sold out and I do find that happens with all the beautiful fabrics that Harriet's got because this is just so pretty it's a beautiful colour gorgeous flowers the thing I like the most is it's got these flowers which are like I think they're blue but they're almost a teal colour and then these pinks and sort of deep pink and then the daisies I think I'm holding it upside down actually it's just really beautiful it's so pretty so anyway I missed out and then I went back on because Harriet said that she'd uploaded some remnants I think and this was a remnant that had been listed so I managed to get I think just short of two meters so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make with it um, it's so soft and again it drapes absolutely beautifully um, probably a dress wouldn't be surprised if this becomes a myosotis because again I'm obsessed with that pattern um, but we'll see. I've actually got a couple of patterns which I'll talk about in a minute um, and this could become one of those patterns but beautiful quality fabric as always from Harriet. Then I had one more to show you and it is from Felicity Fabrics and this was gifted to me as I'm part of their blogger team now um, which is exciting and I did do a whole video of unboxing of this beautiful fabric but I thought I'd share it again and I've just been on the website before I started filming this video and she sold out of this I'm afraid but it's still really pretty so I wanted to share it with you and it is this beautiful Lady McElroy smoke blue viscose it's just again the drape is stunning the colour is beautiful I just love this and actually I hadn't realised but I think Nina when she did the um Park Lane uh, pattern, I think she made a dress out of this fabric. It looks identical actually, and that's what I'm gonna use the fabric for. I'm going to make the Nina Lee Park Lane dress, uh, which is really pretty, and I think this will come out really nicely as the Park Lane. It's so soft, it feels so lovely against your skin. So I think that's gonna be a beautiful dress to sew up, and I can't wait to get started with that. So that's all the fabric. I wanted to show you a couple of other things that are not fabric. But when I took part in the hashtag sew a little love from crafty so and so, I have to make sure I get all these names correct because I don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, I didn't realise there was prizes linked. So if you took part in that, there was then some prizes to be given away, which I didn't realise. And it was only when this company, Knitwit and Stitches, and I put all their details down below, it's only when they got in touch on Instagram and said, congratulations, you've won a voucher. It's like, wow, I didn't even realise that there were prizes, so thank you so much. Um, and Knitwit and Stitches, they sell vintage buttons and accessories. Um, so I got to choose some buttons, so I just wanted to show you them. 
because they're really beautiful. They're on Etsy, but like I said, I'll put their details down below. So I've got these buttons. They're quite big, good couple of centimetres in size, but they're this sort of duck egg blue, I guess, colour. Aren't they lovely? I think I got four, no, six of those, actually. I've got six of those, which is lovely. I've just got the receipt down here. Then these ones are blue, vintage blue buttons, and these are a 25, 29 millimeter in size. And again, they're sort of a bluey green teal color, and they've got these lovely little dashes all the way along. I don't know if you can see that. And I got four of those, and they come in different sizes, and they, I know that she's still got some of those. Uh, and then these ones are purple vintage buttons. And I just love the, um, so they, sort of almost like a cutout here um is that the right word i don't know what, i don't know how to describe that it dips in so i can fit my finger in there purple different shades of purple so there's like lilac on the inside and they're really cute as well so i got four of those as well so i've popped those in my oh actually here's my basket this is my button basket, so I'm going to pop those in there now so that I don't lose them. It's got my buttons in, but it's also got all of my um, labels that I've got, so room for cake. Lots of my garments that I'm planning to sew will definitely have room for cake, and they're labels from Pink Coat Club. So I just wanted to share them because they're really beautiful, and I was just so surprised that I won a prize, so thank you for that. And then I've also recently discovered a um, jewellery company over on Instagram and they're called Sapphire Frills and I've ordered two pairs of earrings which I just adore. So these ones, palm leaf, aren't they lovely? And then these ones which are hearts, again in green because I just adore green, I think it's my favourite colour. Uh, and they're sort of, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but they're speckly. They've got little speckly bits, cute little hearts. And I wore the palm leaf ones the other day with my... Um, Alexa jumpsuit because it matched really beautifully. I haven't worn these ones yet, but I will do. And again, I'll put their details down below because their jewellery is beautiful. They've got such a range of stunning jewellery. So they're really pretty. Um, so I just thought I'd share those. Um, and then I've got patterns to show you. So I've already talked about the Brooklyn pattern. I wanted to show this one. This is by a company called The Pattern Preacher. And they got in touch with me a few months ago and asked if I would like to choose a pattern kindly gifted um, and then I'll do a blog post for them to promote their pattern company um, and I chose the Gabby dress and I think Adele from Button and Pip has also used one of their patterns um, and she made a beautiful dress if I can remember correctly um, so I chose this one which is a sort of off the shoulder sort of scoop neck dress fairly fitted um, and you can use a range of fabrics actually. So there's crepe, cotton satin, poly viscose, crepe de chine, viscose rayon satin, shantung, which I've never heard of, I need to research what that is, poplin, and any lightweight velvets. And um, it describes the Gabby dress as a 1950s film glamour. So it says the preacher brings you 1950s glamour, film glamour in this classic flattering dress shape. Think Grace Kelly in Rear Window or Marilyn Monroe in Some Like It's Hot. And it's an adventurer beginner level. So I'm really looking forward to giving that a try. It looks really lovely. Like, I really like this neckline shape. Um, I'm, I might lengthen it so it goes below my knee, but we'll see. And I've got to have a rifle through my fabric stash to see what fabric will go with that pattern. So I just wanted to share that one as the first pattern. Then Anna from Kokowawa Crafts has released the plum dress, which is a baby doll style dress. Um, and I love all of her patterns. I think I've got all of them actually. Oh no, I haven't got the coconut pyjamas yet, but I am. I might save that for the autumn because um, I've got quite a lot of pyjamas that I've made recently. So this is the baby doll dress. And I think I'm gonna do this version, version B, with the cute little frills on the sleeve. Um, and I've got lots of fabric that I could use for that and actually I've seen a version in a double gauze fabric and I've ordered some from First for Fabrics so I've got a couple of those planned and then when I asked for advice about a pattern which uses viscose lots of people suggested 
the Rita Midi shirt dress and I know that Keely from The Voice of Creative has made one recently and I messaged her to ask how she found it and she messaged back with some advice about that and her latest YouTube video I think she shares her Rita shirt dress and I know that Tamlin from Sewn on the Tine has also made this so I'm really looking forward to giving it a go and it's by Named Clothing I really like the collar detail here and the pockets and again I really like this cinching in at the waist um, I've talked before about I have IBS and it means throughout the day I get bloated or my tummy just fluctuates in size. So anything that can help me feel comfortable around that area um, really helps. And I found the Alexa jumpsuit, I know I keep talking about that, is really comfortable because you can pull it in or let it out throughout the day. I love the Myosotis for that same reason. And actually the Heyday Dungarees are really comfortable around that tummy area, which is something that's really important for me. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And then the last one um, is a shirt dress by Megan Nielsen and it's the Matilda. And I've just, I've sewn a lot of patterns recently where I know how to sew them. Um, you know, I could, sh I could sew them with my eyes shut. And I wanted something that would give me a bit more of a challenge. So I really liked the look of this. It looks like it, there's a lot of detail in there that I can really get my teeth stuck into. So it's a shirt dress. This would be something that I'll sew over the summer when I've got a few weeks off work. Um, but I just love all of the details. It's got a yoke. I love the lines here. The pockets. I like the pockets here. I just think it looks really lovely. It's buttoned down. I'm not afraid of buttons anymore because my faff handles buttons beautifully. So I'm really looking forward to getting my teeth stuck into that one as well. And I think I've got a few cottons that I could make that up in. Um, so those are all my fabrics. Those are all the patterns that I've been buying this month too. Um, I'm going to do a video in a few days, I was going to say a few weeks, I'm going to do a video in a few days about my June plans because what I'm thinking of doing is going back to my older makes and mending them and I've also got a few things planned for my girls as well. Let me know down below what you're planning for June, um, let me know if you've got any of the patterns that I've talked about and if you've got any tips for making them and also if you've got any of the fabrics, it's always fun finding out if you're going to twin with somebody because they've got the same fabric and I'll be back soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching, bye!